Hello and welcome to another update video about Edgix. Um, yeah, Edgix pulled back also in our support area is one of the coins that um, actually uh, came a little bit deeper into the support box 50% FIP level uh, as communicated um, throughout the week and last week as long as 19.33 cents is holding. We can look forward to a wave three to the upside. Um, not necessarily the best chart, yeah, but also one where we could track a potential five wave move up of the June lows for all of these coins. We provided um, possible long trade setups here on the Edgex chart and price also went into the box. Um, got rejected at resistance, yeah, so far has avoided a break above the wave one high at 27 cents. That's typically what we want to see. You know, we want to see a break above that wave one high to have a confirmation that the third wave is already unfolding. Until then, it could be that this wave two gets a bit extended in a clearer three wave structure like this. Yeah? A wave two is always a corrective move, always a three wave move. So the idea was to highlight resistance. Yeah? And um, breaking above this resistance level at 25.9 cents was a, um, a level, well, was a signal that, yeah, there is a good chance we break above the wave one high as well. However, we, have, we didn't have a sustained break above the resistance area. So this is now the level that price needs to break first, 25.9 cents. If it does that, there's a good chance it breaks above the wave one high at 27 cents. And until then, a deeper pullback in wave two is still possible. And uh, yeah, if price comes back into the yellow area, it might be another pullback setup. Until now or until then, um, we uh, yeah we need to keep options open a little bit. I cannot count uh, this as complete or I cannot um, call that the low is complete. On, on the link chart, for example, I'm more confident because price has moved above resistance and actually broke significantly above the wave one high. Here we just need a bit of patience. Yeah. But the setup so far worked out and anybody who entered here just needs to manage risk, lean back and relax. Um, but as I said, you know, leading diagonals, we can't necessarily trust them. Of course, they can be traded, but just to make sure that uh, you understand we cannot trust them until we have a pullback into the support zone and a rally above the previous five wave move high. And that's 27 cents. So this is where we get more clarity. Never certainty, but clarity. And then a target for a third wave. Yeah, we can look at that maybe in the next video when we get a bit of clarity, if price is really bottomed. Um, but certainly next major resistance is this wave four high at 33 cents of the 30th of May. That's my update about Edgix. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.